And come on, look at that color. Perfectly golden brown. I can get that smoke flavor off it. This really is the best of both worlds. What's happening guys, Jet Teeley here. I'm gonna show you how to reverse sear a whole spatchcock chicken on my Coyote Pellet Grill. But it's more than reverse sear. You're actually gonna be able to reverse smoke and then sear. Let me show you how to do it. So let's talk about settings. So my first setting is 275 degrees on smoke. This gasketed hood is gonna make sure all the smoke and heat stay inside. After we cook that bird for about 40 minutes or 160 degrees internal temperature, then I'm gonna turn this thing up to sear to about 500 degrees and that's how we're gonna get a beautiful brown skin. All right, so you've seen me spatchcock chickens, you've seen me cook about a million chickens on TV and online. Just use your favorite whole chicken, either brine or seasoning or dry rub for this method, it's all gonna work. So I've spatchcocked my chicken and I put a little compound butter inside and I'm just gonna place the chicken right onto the laser cut grates, dead center, close this and allow it to smoke at 275 for about 40 minutes to an hour until I get a good internal temperature of about 150 degrees. The only way to get an accurate temperature is to use one of the three probes. So what I'm gonna do is take the probe, plug it into one of your three positions, and you're gonna insert the probe into the thickest, fleshiest part of the chicken breast close to the back foot. Once that's in, I can easily monitor my temperature on the display and I'm waiting for about 150, 155 degrees. Super simple. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. The internal temperature is about 145, 150 degrees. As you can see, the birds almost go through, but I still need a lot of color on the outside. Uh, what I'm gonna do is increase the temperature now to 500 degrees, and then I'm gonna cook the bird skin side down. And that's gonna give me the beautiful color I want and I'm looking for an internal temperature of 165 degrees, and the bird's gonna be gorgeously brown on the outside. That's what reverse sear is. Uh, first I cook it on low, and now I cook it on high, I, and I can do all that with the Coyote Public Grill. All right guys, the probe says I've hit 165 degrees. Woo, I can feel the heat coming off. Uh, the probe is 165, so let's safely get that out of the way. And then let's check out our bird. Oh, come on. There it is. Look at that right there. I like to put this on a bed of roasted vegetables. And come on, look at that. A reverse smoked and seared spatchcock chicken. Look at that color. Perfectly golden brown. I can get that smoke flavor off it. This really is the best of both worlds. 